David Beckham has said that his marriage is hard work, like all marriages. This has created some kind of furore. Let's examine it. You and Victoria have been married for 20 years now. Incredible work pressures and time apart. What is the secret sauce to making this marriage successful? Ooh, a secret sauce. In a way, well done. Well done for being married 20 years, particularly in the situation that they find themselves in, public glare, constant scrutiny, analysis, even analysis of the analysis that's now happening. If you do a video analysing this, then you know we're properly in a, a kaleidoscope of analyses. I think marriage marriage is always about hard work. You know, we've been married for, for a long time now. Sometimes I think when I read some of the analysis, David Beckham shocked fans earlier this week when he branded his marriage to Victoria difficult and now a relationship expert has explained the frank admission reveals the couple are no longer in love. Like, it isn't shocking because it is really difficult to be married, isn't it? In fact, what this does is it exposes the fact that we have to analyse the conditions into which we enter uh, marital or uh, civil partnerships because I actually used to think that love and partnership should be fueled by a kind of glamorous, volatile, wild, giddy, euphoric and occasionally painful kind of expedition through human emotion because I've read too many poems, watched too many films, listened to many songs that romanticise and present that vision of love as being the correct one. But now I'm a little bit older and I have two children and I'm married, I realise that what a re marital relationship should feel like is a calm, serene, <laughs> loving, safe, compatible environment that does indeed require hard work. So in a sense, dear David Beckham here is being uh, unduly analysed for simply stating the fact that accommodating the needs and requirements of another person while simultaneously raising four children and being in the public eye is not easy. The same research that's cited in many of the articles says that the period of being in love rarely lasts for two or three years. Because, I mean, there's a sort of a biochemical euphoria, oxytocin or coating, I never remember which one, is released, isn't it? You remember that when you're an adolescent, that sort of, sort of giddy, visceral plunge of being in love. It's more like an illness than anything else. I mean, it's not certainly something you can build a life around, particularly not a life that involves a career and requires a stability and that you are the partner in raising for children. So I imagine that David Beckham and Victoria Beckham's marriage, like anybody's domestic partnership, is challenging. Do you know anyone who says it's really easy? I don't really, because another, human beings are difficult, aren't they? We're complex, multifaceted, we change, we want different things at different times. But what is it, what does it reveal to us that this is even a story? I suppose that we have unreal expectations of David Beckham and Victoria Beckham because we see them living a kind of heightened version of life. They're both really good looking, their children are really good looking, they're both really successful. But all of this, as we know, is an illusion and they're actually, I think, a couple of people from Essex, not far from where I'm from, except I suppose you know most people would say, well, a lot of the stress on our family life and marriage is financial and I imagine that's been alleviated from them and that it's a great deal easier. It is definitely better to not be poor than to be poor. But the ultimate and essential realities of being married w will be the same regardless of your social condition. Why wouldn't they be? What it exposes is that we believe David Beckham to be kind of unreal. We believe Victoria Beckham to be kind of unreal. And any marriage that lasts 20 years will be hard work and I think they should probably be applauded, appreciated for sticking with it. And I suppose the only reason any of us stay married is because it is better, isn't it, to not be lonely. Oh, the loneliness, the heartbreak, the anguish of it all. That is some true news and some analysis and some potentially some insight into the realities of traversing from the world of non-celebrity into celebrity, back out of celebrity, and the inability of celebrity to ameliorate the emotional problems of being human.